All right, so we have another Our Daily Bread devotional for today, Sunday, December 29th, 2019, entitled Washed in Love by Zochiel Dixon. Scripture focus is James 2, 24. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. <clears throat> Taken from the full scripture reference of James 2, 14 through 26, faith without works is dead. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does, ha does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, when one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, who does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, I have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, I will show you my faith by my works. You believe there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O foolish man, what faith without works? Faith without works is dead. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with your works? And by works faith was made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled which says, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. He was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works, and not by faith only. Likewise, was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works, when she was received when she received the messengers, and sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. A small church in Southern California recognized an opportunity to express God's love in a practical way. Believers in Jesus gathered at a local laundromat to give back to their community by washing clothes for those in financial need. They cleaned and washed clothes together and sometimes provided a hot meal or bags of groceries for recipients. One volunteer discovered the greatest reward was in the actual contact with people hearing their stories because of their relationship with Jesus. These volunteers wanted to live out their faith through loving words and actions that helped them nurture genuine relationships with others. The Apostle James affirms that every act of a professing believer's loving service is a result of genuine faith. He states that faith by itself is not an accompanied if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Declaring we believe makes us children of God. That is when we serve him by serving others that we act as believers who trust and follow Jesus. Faith and service are closely interdependent of Christ as he works in and through us. After personally accepting that God's sacrifice on the cross washes us in perfect love, we can respond in authentic faith that overflows in